Hi folks in the film lab, my name is Matt Brown and I'm a filmmaker and if you've been watching these videos you know that I'm going to be shooting a movie that takes place entirely in an elevator. I did my recce, decided not to shoot it on location, decided to build it instead and then last week we built these flats and they're great but they look nothing like an elevator. So now we have to worry about the noble art and science of set decoration. You're probably aware of this, but everything you see in a movie, usually it's not what it appears to be. If you see a brick wall, it's probably not made out of brick. If you see my elevator, it's probably not made out of elevator. I talked to my friend Adrian Greenlaw, and he suggested some places we could go to get the stuff that you stick inside an elevator to make it more elevator-like, and also the stuff that you can make the walls look like they're elevator walls. We're gonna start by going to Home Depot. Elevator handrail. So I was looking at these and these are uh, ceiling tiles, but what you get, especially with like this, is like some fake opulence for the elevator. And by fake, I mean real elevators probably use these things just as cheaply, but they look cool in real life. Home Depot is good for the broadly general, but if you want the weirdly specific, you want to go to some sort of a bulk supply store like in Toronto, Active Surplus, the graveyard of every single piece of electronics equipment ever. This stuff would be good for like detailing and stuff like that, like lights on elevator buttons. And this, like I can't actually believe they have one of these. Like this would be your LED countdown for the elevator. I mean, it's 15 bucks and we'd have to figure out a way to make it work. But I'm gonna talk to Kat about that. After much deliberation, I decided I wanted a modern stainless steel looking elevator. We built the surface of the flats out of masonite, which is nice and smooth and good, but looks absolutely nothing like metal. Now, like the alchemists of old, we have to turn wood into stainless steel. And Adrian suggested that we go to a store called UB Signs and get gigantic vinyl stickers that look like metal. We live in Toronto, which is a big filmmaking hub, and if you live in a similarly large city, you might have access to a props resource like we do. In our case, it is called Lockup Props, and it is awesome. They have everything that's ever been created, and hopefully that will include like an elevator panel or something else really significant to us like that. Hey, okay. Hi, Matt. Good. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Wow. Yep, a lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me all about Lockup Props. Uh, well, we are a large prop warehouse uh, that rents to movies and television, and we have about 36,000 square foot of space. So where do you source all this stuff from? Like, where does it come from? Yep. Um, a lot of our stuff comes from set sales. So for example, if a TV show or a movie is finishing and wrapping up, they might call Jay, our owner, down and ask him if he wants to take a look at what we, they have. And um, sometimes Kijiji and Craigslist and really? stuff like that. There's a really cool, like, Shay's Lounge cheetah leopard print chair kind of thing that he got off there. <laughs> and at the same time, too, some people who, who are customers who do come in on a regular basis will call and say they have some things and mm -hmm. ask if we want them. Right. So what, what kind of things do you actually have here besides, um, like, everything? You name it, for the most part, we have it. Uh, we have things from large medical equipment to tombstones to construction barriers to taxidermy things, crates, spooky trees, school desks, lockers, pay phones, telephone booths, cafeteria things, cafeteria trays, baking trays, kitchenware, dead things in jars, and auto sections, paintings, like fishing stuff, so like lobster traps, uh, fishing nets, cargo nets, camo nets, large crates, large crates on skids, large spools, oil barrels, oil drums, uh, large satellite antennas, satellites, all different sorts of lights, standing floor lamps, table lamps, um, oh my goodness, army stuff, planters, vases, candles, metro shelving, did I say lockers, uh, street signs, lamp posts, a roulette wheel, recycling bins, office wear, coffins, um, 
that covers, I feel, majority of the things that we have. <laughs> what do I do first? That would be the first common reaction, I think, <laughs> if you were a new set buyer or a second decorator. Well, what you would do is people usually come in with a plan as to what sort of things they need. And larger things, so for example, the counter anchor or any of the lanterns behind me, you'd put a tag on it with your company name, the date it's being picked up, that sort of thing. We charge by the week. And that's I just purchase. whip out my credit card and off we, we go. We actually don't do credit card. We only take cash or check. Good thing uh, to ask. Yes, very good thing. Is there anything you don't have? There is, I would say, one thing that on a fairly frequent basis we get asked for, and that would be a king's throne. We don't have one. Well, that in real Oscars, you've been getting a lot of requests really? for real Oscars, and that's one thing we don't have either. But the throne is the one thing that people request a lot that we do not have. Can I uh, take a look at those elevator panels? Of course, they're down here. That's in the ballpark of, I mean, certainly enough stories, which is nice. And this would, this one doesn't light up, right? No. I'm not sure, to be honest. It doesn't look like it would, but it's certainly, it's certainly accurate to what we're trying to do. It's heavy as hell, too. Well, this is now a strong contender. Our shoot's in March, so. Well, this was excellent. Thank you so much. I'll give you a call when we know what we want to do. Yeah, for sure. Just let us know. We can put it in a cart for a tag on it, that kind of thing. Cool. cool. Thanks again. No problem. Have yeah. a good day. You too. So now we've sourced out a bunch of different options. We've got to take those away, crunch some numbers, figure out what we actually want to do. Then we're going to get everything together and we are going to finally build us a set. Stay tuned to thesubscreen.com. Next week, we are building an elevator. We're building it right here in the